what's up guys? Hydrolon back here in another video. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make a Starbucks in Minecraft. I tried. But also, if you guys weren't able to comment the last video, sorry, I was being stupid. Comments should be turned on this time. But um let's get into this. Strong. Materials you are going to need for this build are spruce planks, smooth stone slab, oak planks, oak fence, glass panes, lime terracotta, white dye, black banner, green dye, gray dye, banner pattern, the flower charge, and then another banner pattern, school charge. Birch stairs, piston, redstone torch, painting, spruce slab, spruce trap door, lime carpet, green carpet, moss carpet, tripwire hook, spruce stair, flower pot, warp pressure plate, lever, gray concrete, black carpet, glass, heavy weighted pressure plate, item frame, cake, bread, oak sign, smooth quartz slab, light gray concrete, cookie, and an oak trap door. You're also going to need an invisible item frame. But if you're in bed, oh, I already said that, but if you're in bedrock, you're going to need a regular item frame instead of the invisible item frame and a spruce pressure plate. This is the plus size for the Starbucks. Feel free to pause the video if necessary, but yeah. To start this off, you're going to need lime terracotta, glass panes, oak fence, smooth stone slab, oak planks, and spruce planks. You're going to grab your lime terracotta, come to this corner right here, and go one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll leave you with this. Then you're going to just go a thin layer of lime terracotta on the rest of this, of the plot. After that, you're going to put an extra three layers on top of the rest of the lime terracotta. Next, we are going to fill in the floors. So just fill in the floors with oak planks. It's not that hard. After you are done with the floor, you're going to be putting in the glass panes. So, we're going to do the door first. So you're going to go four up on each of the sides right here. And then bring one two out right here. One two out. And then one right here on the bottom. Then you're going to place an oak fence right here. So they act as doors coming out. Then you're going to grab your glass pane for the windows. And we're going to break into the wall and go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's going to be six open. And then you can just fill in the floor. Uh. That never happened. You can just fill in the floor right there. Same thing with the other side. Boom. And then just put oak planks right there. And then on this side, you are going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, right there. <coughs> Boom. But like, so the glass right here was originally like an extra one long, and then this was just green terracotta. So you can have it like this if you want. But personally, I just like having it like that. I noticed that after I built it. Boom. And then we're just going to do that on the other side. boom so then we're going to go on this side and we're going to have two apart go one two one two two apart again one two one two it's like a double window and then we're going to do the same thing on this side one two one two pretend that never happened and then one two one two boom. but then on the back we're just going to do a very last thing so we're gonna go in 10 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and go four glass panes right there those will act as the windows but boom next we're going to use our spruce planks and we're going to go up one two three and do a three layer spruce plank across the all the green terracotta After that, it should look like this. It's not like that nice. Yet. So then, we're gonna grab our smooth stone slabs. 
and we're gonna go across the entire like edge of the top with smooth stone so, oh my god smooth. so we're just gonna go across the entire top boom so after that so you're gonna go one half slab down right here and do the pretty much the same thing you did on the bottom layer Okay, technical difficulties, but you should have gone around with the entire thing right there. But next up, we're gonna go right in the middle and go across by one block, one, and we're just gonna make a small little pillar. So this is still the middle, go across one, one giant pillar, boom. Then you're gonna come over here, another pillar, right in the corner over there. Go on this side, another pillar, right there, boom. Right here, pillar. This side, Right here, pillar, boom. This side, pillar, boom. Then we're gonna go Okay, we have some technical difficulties. Another one here, go across, another one here. Then every five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. Put another pillar, one, two, three, four, five. Another pillar, one, two, three, four, five. Another pillar, one, two, three, four, five. Last pillar, go across. This side, I messed up, but boom. The pillars are pretty much done right here. So we are done with that. Next, you're gonna need a loom, your banner pattern, your flower and your skeleton banner, banner pattern, your gray dye, your white dye, your black banner, and your green dye. You're gonna, bleh. you're gonna go to the loom, you're gonna place your black banner in, your green dye, and your flower charge. You're gonna grab that black banner, and then take the green dye out, put some white dye in your skull charge, and grab the banner. Then you're gonna take the banner pattern out and the white dye and grab your gray dye. So then you are going to, right here, take away this, boom, and go to the top, and then get rid of this. Actually, no, you don't need to get rid of that. Never mind. This is an okay banner. It's pretty much the top, and just the bottom was deleted, so it looks a bit better. Right here, you're gonna place it, and then boom, you have a Starbucks logo. Next, we're gonna be working on the inside. So for the inside, you're gonna need black carpet, glass, gray concrete, lever, tripwire hook, first trap door, and a slab. You're gonna come inside, and you're gonna go from the left, one, two, three, four, five. For this spruce slab, go one, two, three, right here. And then go keep going across, until one, two, three, four, five. Place more, boom, right there. We're gonna make kind of a floating, but you can. But I'm gonna place supports right here, so it looks okay. And then right here, you're gonna place a spruce trap door to act as an entrance. And then same thing on this side. And this, this last part is just for design. But you can go one, two, three, four. No, 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 oh my God. You go three blocks in. Yeah, that boom and then you're going to place spruce trap doors here this is just for design right there but then we're going to make it act like we're going to have some like basic necessities here so we're going to place slabs across and we're going to have these are supposed to look like bland blenders so one two for glass black carpet it's, i tried my best then we're going to grab a gray carpet and go one two three right here place a lever a lever and a tripwire hook so it looks like a little dispenser. Boom. Next, we're going to be doing the seating area. You're going to need a painting, redstone torch, birch stairs, piston, and oak planks. So you're going to come over here. You want to place a birch stair, another one here. Same thing with this side, right here. You're going to dig a block into the ground, place a piston. Dig another block into the ground, place a piston. Dig three blocks into the ground, go right under, and place a redstone torch. Boom. Then you're going to place your oak planks back and then either fill in this block with oak planks or fill it in with the green terracotta. doesn't matter. Then we're going to do the same thing with this side. Boom. So then we're going to do one more seating area. Go cross by two. Place one here, one here. Go cross by two, one here, one here. 
block into the ground, piston, piston, three blocks in the ground, redstone torch, and then that. One, two, three, brick, redstone torch, oak links, boom. Now to add some little more pizzazz, we're gonna also need to grab one more item we have here, which will be our oak tractors. And just so you don't see like the giant thing sprouting out of the ground, we're gonna place tractors across it, so like that, right there. Uh, and then boom, you have your tables. But we're also gonna add a painting here, and there's a specific painting that I think I would like for Starbucks. Let's find it. Uh, let's take that back. Boom, right there. That's a good painting, I think. Next, we are gonna be needing smooth score slab, cake, cookie, bread, oak sign, spruce slab, flower pot, spruce stairs, and a warp pressure plate, invisible item frame, and a weighted pressure plate. But if you're in bedrock, you don't need the invisible item frame, but you are gonna need a regular item frame and a spruce pressure plate. To get the invisible item frame, you're going to do slash give at P item frame. The, this weird thing. Well, that's not a, not a P. Uh. Uh. This thing. N T T tag colon this thing. Invisible colon one B and then two N N things and boom we have an invisible item frame, which like usual is invisible. I have cookie on the ground. To start this out, you're going to need your smooth cord slabs and go one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Boom. Looks like I have like shelves. Then you're going to grab your invisible item frames and go one, two, three. You put a cake, a cookie, and a bread. And I'm going to put these things here. It's for Starbucks. I'm just going to be a cake dot 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 pop, I guess. They want to have just a chill cookie, and then this is gonna be a croissant. A croissant, boom. Then you're gonna grab your invisible item frame and you're gonna fill it in, like right here. So the cake, you're gonna put cake right here because this cake pops. Then you're gonna grab next one, right here, cookies, and. Then there we go. And then the last one, we're gonna put bread. Boom. If you're in bedrock edition, you can just grab your non-invisible item frame and do cake pop, I mean, cake pop right there. And then right here, you can just put your croissant and your okay. Next, we're gonna be doing the shelf. You're gonna place two through stairs and then three on the side, and then another one going in. Then you're gonna place your slabs on top then you're gonna grab your flower pots, put two here, acting as cups. Then a weighted pressure plate, acting as a plate. Then your invisible item frame, and then putting a wrong item frame. Okay, grab your invisible item frame, put it there, then your warp pressure plate. This is supposed to act as like a straw, if you can't figure it out. Then you're gonna, over here, you're gonna place one, two, one, two, I think I have another shelf, and I'm just gonna put a bunch of straws up here. You can just break one or whatever and put another cup, put another cup, but I would just like to put the straws. For my bedrock edition players, you're gonna place a, four regular item frames for your, where your straws are gonna go. You're gonna place your warp trap doors or whatever you want for your straws. Then you're gonna have your pressure plate, your spruce pressure plate, Put it right on top it might lag out a bit that's only depending on i don't even know but <sighs> it works right next you're going to need your painting your green carpet your line carpet your moss carpet and some extra blocks i guess so we're going to work on this right here so we're going to go one block in place technically like a star i would get i would call it of line of line carpet then grab your green carpet and go inside, and then your moss carpet, and then you grab your green carpet again. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. And then grab your moss carpet 
and finish this part off. It's just supposed to be a giant carpet, like a giant carpet of kind of like the logo, I guess. I guess. But then you're gonna, we're gonna add some paintings right here. That's what that has to this room. So we're gonna go one, two, one, one, two, and then one, two, one, one. Oh God, I can't even type. I can't even place. So right here, we're gonna add some like food to the menu. I would say. So right here, we're gonna want this painting right here. And then right here, we're gonna want that. And we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait longer. We're gonna wait even longer. And we're gonna wait even longer. There. We wanna have that painting right there. Oh, and we're probably gonna need a break this too. Last but not least, we're going to be doing the roof. So we're going to come up here and we're going to fill in this part of the roof with smooth planks. After that, we're going to pretty much do the same thing but with light gray concrete. You're going to place like a layer of light gray concrete just above the, the lime terracotta. Let's do this. After that, we're going to do the crown molding with our smooth quartz stairs, I mean slabs. So we're going to so we're gonna start at the door and we're going to go around just like the smooth quartz slabs. But right here, we're going to turn go right here and keep going around. But right here, we're going to place an extra here so it gives it a little depth, a little bit of depth. Depth, I can't even say. So we're going to do the same thing here, boom. Then we're gonna go out one, here, in one, out one, in one, out, in, and then we're just gonna continue right here. Crown molding, boom. Go around here, two out, one in, boom. Right there. That should be good enough for crown molding, I guess. But then we're just gonna go in by three, one, two, three. Place some sea lanterns. Same thing on this side, one, two, three. Sea lantern, one, two, three. Sea lantern, one, two, three. Sea lantern, that should be good. Then let's place some trap doors on the top. And boom, you are done with your Starbucks. I hope you guys enjoyed making a Starbucks. This just took a while to plan out, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you guys want more of these tutorials but i'll see you guys in the next one peace out dudes Ooh.